Hello everyone, I'm Tahira and I'm recording for you today a video tutorial to show you how to impress just the edges of a card front like this. It's a very simple technique to do, produces great results, so let's get started. For this technique we will need a Spellbinders 12x12 tan polymer mat, pen and a ruler, pair of scissors, paper tray vanilla and tan embossing mat kit, I'm actually only going to need the vanilla mat for this example, so we'll put that tan mat to one side. Next you'll need a piece of card, but I've already cut to the same shape and size as my card front, so this is A2, 5.5 by 4.25 inches. Also we'll be using my score buddy, paper tray impression plate, I'm using the tin types impression plate today, and finally my die cutting machine. Now I use a big shot, which means I'll also need my multi-purpose platform and cutting plates. So the first thing that we're going to do is measure and mark out a piece of our mat so that it matches the shape and size of our card. Now you can obviously adjust this technique to be any shape or size card that you want, but I'm sticking with A2 for this example. So here's one that I've already started to measure and mark out, and you can see that I've already started cutting it out as well. So basically I've drawn on this with my pen ruler, and I will use my pair of scissors to cut out the shape. I tried doing this with my paper trimmer and I found that you actually wouldn't be able to cut all the way through the mat so I found for this to scissors work best. So here's one that I've already cut out and the next step basically is to measure and mark out your frame. Now in the example that I showed you at the beginning I had quite a thin frame, it was only half an inch wide so I'm going to do a slightly wider frame for this tutorial, this is three quarters of an inch that I've measured and marked around with my pen and ruler. So you can see here that you can just about make out the lines that I've drawn out and the next step is to basically cut that out with a pair of scissors and once you've done that, which I've already done, you'll be left with something like this and this is what we're actually going to use for our technique. So the rest of this tutorial is basically pretty simple, we're just going to set up our sandwich and emboss our card front. So we'll start with our multi-purpose platform and this is down to tab 1. And next comes our first cutting plate. Paper tray impression plate comes next, then our piece of card, and next comes the frame that you've just prepared. Now don't lay this frame down with the pen lines on top of the card stock as otherwise they will transfer through onto the card once you've impressed through. Uh, ask me how I know this. <laughs> So we just need to very carefully line up the frame so that it matches the edges of the card. I'm going to take a bit of time over doing this. Just want to get it just right so it's nicely lined up. I think that's about right now. So next comes our vanilla mat. We'll just lay that gently on top. And finally comes our second cutting plate. Now this forms quite a tight sandwich, so you're really going to have to use quite a bit of force to force this through your machine. So just bear with me while I roll this through, having to give it quite a bit of energy there to just start pushing that through now. And I'm just holding the place in the cutting plate so that the impression plate and the mats don't move too much. So hopefully you can see now that I've removed these that we're left with a very nicely embossed frame. I probably can't make it out too well on here but I'll show you a bit closer at the end. Um, so all that's left to do with this technique is I'm going to use my score buddy and just impress emboss a line three quarters of an inch from the edges just to accentuate that frame. And that's pretty much all there is to it. So thank you very much for watching today. I hope you found this very interesting and I hope you'll give it a try yourself. Thank you.